Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can add a home button to the home screen on your iPhone. And why would you want to do it? Well, a couple of reasons. Perhaps your home button stopped working or you just want to have like a virtual home button flying around on the home screen and whenever you are. So you go to the settings now, you scroll down to the accessibility so you click on a touch and assistive touch is right there at the top. So you just have to enable it like this and usually it's going to be enough. People are going to tell you that this is everything what you need to know about it. But when you tap on it, it's not really a home button. Although you can tap it and tap it again, it's going to come home. So you can see you tap it, tap home, it's going to go home. But this is not it. It's not really a home button. It's a virtual button with multiple functions. In order to make it a real virtual home button, which does only one thing and behaves only like a home button, you need to customize the menu. So you can see that you can remove some of the icons. I would advise you to remove every single one of them until you leave with one. And this will not be Siri, but when you tap it, you're going to choose it to home. So hit it done. And now the only thing that this button does is the home button. So you tap it, it goes home. Nothing else, no menu actually pops up. However, you can even choose to keep all the toggles that you saw before and also have the tap to go back to home. So on a single tap, make sure to choose home. This means that whenever you tap it once, you're, it's gonna behave like a floating home button. But here you can add now multiple things here. So it can be camera, it can be pretty much anything what you want from this list. It can be restart. I don't know why would you want to do that, but you can have like uh, gestures, hold and drag. I mean, it could be lock screen, whatever. Now you come back. Now when we set up the double tap, it can open the menu. So when you choose open menu and now when you double tap it, it goes you can see it goes right here to your menu. So you still have access to multiple features and multiple controls while still the home button behaves like a home button. You tap it, it goes home, but when you double tap it, it gives you multiple options. So definitely very handy. Plus there is also a long press, which you can customize as well. So for example, you choose, it can be Apple Pay, for example, or it can be a screenshot. That would be interesting. So you come back to the home screen, hold down on the home button, and it's gonna take a screenshot. How cool is that? You definitely could not customize your regular home button this way, so only the virtual one can be set up for these features. However, this still isn't everything what you should know about it. You can also change the opacity. So you can find it here in the same section in assistive touch, idle opacity. So I like to keep it to pretty much very low to 25%, but you can go as low as 15. That means that when you're not using it, when the button is not being tapped or anything, it means that it will be barely visible. The opacity will be at 15%. So it doesn't stand in the way while you can still see pretty much where it is. So whenever you need it, you can just tap it. Now it just lights up once again. And after some time, it comes back to the idle opacity. It's almost invisible at this point, but you can keep it at 100%. That means that it just never, never goes like really light. It will always be of the same contrast and visibility. So depending on how you want it, but make sure to set it up so you will be satisfied with it. Now, if it ever happens to you that your iPhone keeps coming back to the home screen randomly and don't, you don't know what really caused it or what's going on, make sure to watch this video right here. It's going to tell you everything what you need to know about it because it's actually a feature.